What are you doing, Wayne? Wayne, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm playing. <laughs> Will it light? In the comment section, pause it, answer. Will this solar light this bulb? Now we're getting into the inside wiring here at the circuit panel. We're going to be changing circuits around in here. Line one is for the solar stuff that we're going to be running. Line two is going to be stuff for the generator or shore power. So we're only powering line one in this box here. So we got to change a few things around to make everything work. Okay, the way this is set up here, you have your bedroom outlets here, which is, there's two outlets. Your converter, which is your glorified battery charger, it's going to be eliminated. Your front AC, and then you have your main, your two mains. This is your main for line one, this is your main for line two. Then you have your rear AC, microwave, and GFI. Now we're going to be changing this around. This is going to be a double breaker here. So we're going to be putting GFI and bed on here. We're going to move the microwave from line 2 over to line 1. We're going to be eliminating that and leaving this one. Rear AC is what's going to be here on line 2. And Jackson is over here making sure that I have the he brought me the breaker appreciate it Jax I needed that breaker the double breaker that I've got it's a regular size breaker it's just it has two set up on it so appreciate you bringing that over to me Jax and this is pretty clean inside as you've seen my on one of the others I did, the Nightmare It Look. This is excellent. I like the way this is laid out. No. Uh, you had one I set you up to be perfect to get the shot. And you want to jump over. We have our 12 volt side here, our 110 side over here, and usually the converter is plugged in on the back side of this. So we're going to have to search for the converter to unhook it because it might be buried there or it may be up under a cabinet somewhere. Okay, I was hunting the converter to disconnect it and remove it. And the normal locations you would find it is usually right by your circuit box or up under your uh, sink, usually by the kitchen sink. So we was looking, didn't find it, looking up under all the drawers to find it and couldn't find it. Well, we finally found it up under the bed. Yeah, up under the bed there, and there it is. And now I know where it's at. I will be able to trace the power wires down and disconnect them. Okay, we're getting into the AC wiring portion of this now. And it was a little bit of uh, tracking everything down, uh, as you've seen with the... Uh, what's called the converter, which to me is a glorified battery charger. I'm going to bring the lines up through the floor here. I'll show you that underneath. They're going to come up to the ceiling. They're going to be fastened to the ceiling that goes all the way across. And then I'm going to bring them down the wall here and up into the inverter. 
what we have is four 320 watt panels I have them wired in series parallel fasten down they're not going nowhere I have the wires tied down and fastened to the roof they're not going to slide everything's sealed you've seen how I run every all the wires through the refrigerator vent fastened down they're not going anywhere on the front and back panel on the on the leading edge I have an aluminum bracket what that does is helps block some of the wind and helps keep the panels down secured on the roof it is sealed I use VHB tape and sealer it's not going to leak and I have three screws also that goes into the panel itself sealed it's not going to leak the wires that are here are UV resistant wires in the electronics bay we have a solar that comes down into a 30 amp breaker that goes before the charge controller and we also have a 100 amp breaker that goes from the battery side to the charge controller that way it is completely protected we have three Battleborn 100 amp hour batteries we have a master shutoff that goes to the inverter it's protected with a 400 amp fuse everything's tied down connected battery shunt is mounted all the grounds are hooked up to the battery shunt so it can properly monitor the incoming and outgoing power we went in yesterday with the inverter charger updated the software that's what this interface cable here is for it's all been updated set for the lithium batteries as you can tell all the wires are fastened securely the wires back coming up for the inverter that comes down and around I'll take you underneath and show you how them wires run up underneath Okay, they come down through two conduit pieces that's here. There's a rubber garment that goes up into these, and that keeps it sealed and watertight. All the wires go all the way across, are connected. As you can tell, I got rubber garments on that side where it goes to the metal. Nothing's getting in or out. Everything's secured and fastened. It's not going anywhere. All the grounds are connected to an isolator. And then this wire here goes over to the shunt. You have to have all of these going through your shunt. That's the only way you're going to get a true measurement of your incoming power. Incoming and outgoing power. Okay, what we did here in the box here as we move the GFI and microwave over on line one we have the bedroom and GFI on a double breaker here this is no longer a converter this is a microwave I do need to label it that is your front AC and here is the main for line one main for line two and rear AC these two breakers here are now dead nothing hooked up to them so basically everything is going to run like what he wanted off of line one rear AC runs off line two we have the battery monitor up here 13.49 volts we run the air conditioner yesterday I'll show you that what you can't run the air conditioner off solar watch me um, I don't know if you can hear it but air conditioners on with the AC on you can tell right now solar is bringing in 916 watts the panels are 53 
volts. We're bringing in 17 amps. Going into the batteries from the charge controller is 13.32. We're pushing 67 amps into the batteries and they're still on float <laughs> with the AC on. Yeah, it's it's working. It's working good. So you bring it in over a thousand watts just then. Okay. It just switched over to bulk. But look, I'm bringing in 74 amps. 1,000 watts. Yes, 1,000 watts. Yes, you heard me correctly. With the AC on, we are still producing power, still charging batteries. That's why Eric went with the four panels instead of the three and doing the tilt brackets. He don't have to mess with it. Personally, I don't blame him. I don't want to do, I don't want. Personally, I don't blame him. I do not want to go on a roof and deal with tilt brackets all the time. It's not worth it to me. Add an extra panel and not have to worry about tilt brackets. Okay, a lot of people is gonna ask me why didn't we put tilt brackets on the panels? Here's the reason. With the tilt brackets tilting up, you might get about 25% more. That's why Eric went with four panels and not three, so you do not have to tilt the panels. As you just seen, panels are flat. We're pulling in a thousand watts. That is a lot of power. He don't have to tilt panels. He don't have to go on the roof, mess with it, come back down. He's gotta go move them. They're fine. He's bringing in all that power. He is happy. I have him all finished up. He's happy. We've tested everything and made sure everything worked good on this system. Everything works perfect. No issues. Ease of installation was about average on a uh, Class A like this. Got to drill some holes. Got to make. Uh, Got to make some room. But we got it. I'm going to put a link to all the equipment that we used in the video description down below. I know this is good equipment. It works. It's excellent. I'm also going to put a link to Northern Arizona Wind and Solar. Check them out. They got a bunch of stuff. Real knowledgeable people. So everything's done. I'm done questions comments please like and subscribe give me that thumbs up and i will see you all in the next video what are you doing wayne wayne what are you doing <laughs> what are you doing i'm playing <laughs> will it light put it in the comment section pause it answer will the solar light this bulb Okay, I've waited on you. <laughs> that is right uh, off the of solar panels. Wow. <laughs> Yeehaw. That's funny. DC voltage on an AC light. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs>